Guitar Ninjas, welcome to another Riff of the Week. In this video, we're going to have a look at Deep Purple's Black Knight. <laughs> Seems quite weird with that gap. Let's throw it again and I'm just going to do my normal making noise. <laughs> so this entire riff is only using the 5th and 7th frets. There's nothing else in but 5 and 7 and it's all on the 4th, 5th and 6th string. So we've got a total of 16 notes, so I'm going to break it down into chunks of four notes. So our first set of four, we're going to play the seventh fret with our third finger on the fifth string. The reason we're going to use our third finger here is that our first finger will be used for the fifth fret every time, and our third finger for the seventh fret every time. Keeping our one finger per fret stretch. So starting with seventh fret on the fifth string, we're going to play that followed by the fifth fret on the fourth string. <laughs> Then we're going to go back to that 7 on the 5th. So it's like we've rocked out of it and back into it. And then our 4th note, we're going to play the 5th fret on the 5th string to finish. So, 7, 5, 7, 5, but with the first 5 being on the 4th string. So our second bunch of four, we're going to actually bring in the sixth string now. We're going to play the seventh fret on the sixth and then just run down the scale. So we're going to go five and then seven on the fifth and then the five on the fourth as well. So the notes are this. But it kind of jumps the notes on the fifth string. It plays them quicker to make it sound more musical. So instead of duh, 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 we've got duh, 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 duh. So the first four and second four together, we get this. So the next set of four notes, we're going to start with a seven on the fifth string, followed by a seven on the fourth string. Now you could move the finger down, or you could do what I do, where I roll the finger and play that note with the flat of the finger on the next string. Compared to this. So they both work the same, it's just whichever one's more comfy for you at the high speeds. So after I've played the 7 and barred down, I'm then going to play the 5th fret on the 4th string, and then back to that 7 on the 5th string. Then our last set of four we hear is two separate chunks of two. The first one we're going to play five and then seven on the fifth string. And then we're going to play five on the fourth string and then seven on the fifth. So let's have a recap of each set of four. First set, seven on the fifth. 5th fret on the 4th, 7th fret on the 5th, 5th fret on the 5th. The next set of 4, we're going to start with 7 on the 6th string, 5th fret on the 5th, 7th fret on the 5th, and then 5th fret on the 4th. Remember it's got that kind of jump to it. The next set of four is where we're going to bring that little rolling bar. So we're going to go seven on the fifth, seven on the fourth, fifth on the fourth, seven on the fifth. Then our last set of four, we've got the fifth to seventh on the fifth string, then the fifth on the fourth string, and then seven on the fifth. Lots of five and seven, especially with the fact there's a fifth string as well. So once more through the whole thing. Once more, even slower. And then once more at full speed. And 
and then it kicks into the rest of the song. And there you have Black Knight by Deep Purple. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more Riff of the Weeks, so there's one every single week, please hit that subscribe and bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. I do at least one more video every week, which is music projects, random theory, always chances to learn and have fun with music. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment of any ideas to do for future Riff of the Weeks, and I'll catch you in a new video soon. Bye!